Hello, what's new at Sky TV? Erica Jones here, membership and outreach director. It has been a little bit since we spoke last. How are you? I hope your Memorial Day weekend was awesome. You did some celebrating. Um, I'm here to give a few updates. So we had um, last week Throwback Wavis. It was our first kickoff to a Boston Free Radio kind of like a residency series over at Cantina La Mexicana, just, just beyond our walls here. And we had one of our members spinning some vinyl all night, and there was probably around like 25 members there. It was awesome. Good vibes. We plan doing this monthly, the last Thursday of every month, uh, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. over at Cantina. So make sure to come to the next one if you didn't get to make it there. Um, and this week, we have our next SCAT TV potluck and lecture series with the president of um, New, New England Women in Film. Uh, her name is Alicia Orsini, and she will be coming to kind of share more information about uh, what Women in Film is all about and how our members can get involved and uh, what types of events and like networking opportunities and classes that they offer. So come by for that at 7 p.m. this Thursday, June 2nd. Um, 7 p.m. and bring a dish to share if you have one. Other than that, I'm out. We'll see you soon. Finding good music for video is H-A-R-D, difficult. But if you know where to look, there's some great internet resources to find you a diverse range of interesting music to make your videos that much better. A lot of websites have collections of music that you can use for free in your videos, but a lot of times they sound really bad, they're kind of like synthy, they're just um, not that great. But freemusicarchive.org, and this is not a plug for them or anything, um, is a really good library of music from independent artists, um, as well as just amateurs who want to make their music available for people to use for free. Um, and this is great for SCAT TV members who are mostly making work for non-commercial purposes. To get on freemusicarchive.org, you literally just type that in and you'll get on the website. Um, and for our purposes, we'll look under the Curators tab. Um, and there, you'll click on Music for Video. And once you're in that section, you have a lot of different filters to find you exactly what you need for your video. So you can filter by mood. They have a whole range of things like angsty, bouncy, uh, lively, reflective, romantic, sad. They have a lot of moods there. Um, you can search by an artist or a song title if you already know some um, non-commercial artists. Um, you can search by genre, which I think is probably the most useful. Um, they have blues, uh, international folk, pop, jazz, rock. Um, R&B, they have a lot there. Um, you can also check only instrumental, which is a good idea when you just sort of want background music and you don't want any lyrics interfering. Um, and you can also search by beats per minute if you want it to be a certain pacing for your video. And then from there, just make sure that it has a Creative Commons license so that you can use it for whatever you need. So once you find a track that you like, you just hit the down arrow next to it, which is the download button, um, and it'll show up on the bottom of your screen your downloads. And from there, um, it'll open automatically in iTunes, or you can find it in the Finder under Downloads. And just make sure that you move it from Downloads onto whatever drive that you're using. So hopefully you can find some good music. I've found stuff that I really just enjoy listening to, and it's made um, music for video a lot less painful. And enjoy! Hey, what's up? I'm Heather McCormick. I'm the Boston Free Radio Station Manager and the Youth Media Coordinator, and I want to update you on our summer programming opportunities for young people. Um, so we have opportunities for all age groups, um, middle school, preteens, high school age, um, all y'all are welcome. And we have a lot of really amazing opportunities um, that are filling up fast. We actually already filled up our first class, which is an in intro to animation. Our friend Isabella, uh, our program director here, is going to be leading that class. Um, clearly it's very popular. So um, the other ones that I'm going to talk to you about, if you're interested at all, you can check out www.scattvsomerville/youth, and you can sign up for any of these programs. 
Um, so after Intro to Animation, the next thing we're offering this summer is called You News. Um, so that's going to be from July 11th to July 15th, and that is a youth journalism program. It's one week, 9 to 3, um, where if you are a preteen or in middle school, um, you get to learn from the best, from Heather Averson, our director of news here at SCAT TV, learn about what it takes to make a successful news program and how to be a journalist and how to go out and get the scoop and get the real details on issues that are important to you. So if that is interesting to you, you guys are going to create your own news program that is then going to be screened on SCAT TV, Channel 3, which is super exciting. Um, another program I'm really, really excited about is the Teen Movie Maker Space that we're going to be doing with Parts and Crafts. And that is going to be July 18th to July 29th. Another one from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, and so that is for teens only, so high school age young people um, that are interested in really going through every step of the process on how to create, you know, envision, film, direct, star in, edit, and then present your own original short film. And you guys are going to have two weeks to create that with a bunch of other young people your age um, and learn from some of the best um, local filmmakers, some, some folks who have um, some real expertise in, in how to do this. So if any of that is interesting to you, again, scattvsomerville.org slash youth. Um, another teen program that we have that's a little bit more chill and relaxed, you don't have to sign up for every session, is our Critics Corner. Um, we have Christopher Maloney, who's a local film critic and filmmaker, who's going to be teaching y'all how to do cri film criticism and watching summer blockbusters, 70s and 80s blockbusters. Our first, our kickoff night is going to be July 7th, and we're going to be at the Somerville Theater, which is really exciting. And that's only five bucks to come every week you want to come. So from five to seven on Thursdays, starting July 5th and ending August 11th, we're going to be watching Raiders of the Lost Ark, we're going to be watching Batman, a whole bunch of fun stuff. And then the final week, we're going to go to AMC in Somerville and go on a field trip together. So, um, so come check that out. Um, okay, almost done. Last but not least, and, and I'm very, very excited about this, is um, Yo Scat TV Raps. So if you have ever decided, I mean, yo, designer blew up this summer, right, with his panda song, with one verse, that could be you. Um, if you're a rapper, if you're a beat maker, if you want to become one, even if you're an R&B hook singer, or maybe you've never done any of those things but you're interested in it, we have a program for middle school and high school age young people called Yo Scat TV Raps. It's going to be the first week of August, August 1st to August 5th, again, 9 to 3. And get this, you are going to create a song, write all the lyrics, create the beat, edit it, edit the levels, learn how to make it sound awesome, and then you're going to record a music video for it, and then you're going to get to perform live at the Middle East upstairs on August 6th. That's crazy. That's hard to do. You get your first show and your first song in a week. Um, it's really, really exciting. We really hope to have you come. Again, scattvsomerville.org slash youth. It's filling up fast, so check it out. Thanks so much. Peace. Hi, my name is Susan Allen. I've been a member of Somerville Community Access TV for three years maybe a little bit more. When I first came to Somerville Community Access TV, I found out about Somerville Producers Group. And at the Producers Group, I showed up every other Tuesday for the last three years, and I volunteered my time. And in those three years, I have learned how to produce television shows. And never in my life did I ever seek or want to produce television shows. But here I am, and I won Entertainer of the Year a couple of years ago with El Arte Flamenco. So I can tell you that this is a wonderful team to work with. The people are welcoming. I would say it's like my home, and I really appreciate that. What I like most about SCAT TV is the feeling when I walk in the door. And that is a very welcoming, what can I do for you kind of feeling. And a very open door policy where anyone here is accepted. 
There are people from the Nepalese community. There are people from the Spanish community. There are people from the Haitian community. There are people from the Indian community. I mean, it just goes on and on. The musicians, uh, the artists, we show an artist every month. I mean, what can I tell you? It's an incredibly active, we have a youth program which is incredible for the youth. It's an incredibly active television, local television station. And that's what I like about it. Actually, that's what I love about it. Thank you.